Well, a strange sighting off the coast of Flagler County. Calls from witnesses flooded into the police station after people reported seeing this ball of light. A viewer sent us this photo. And the Coast Guard immediately began searching and trying to figure out if it was a plane that crashed. But the FAA says it wasn't a plane because there were none flying in that area. We sent Action News' Erica Bennett to find out what fell from the sky. This is near the exact area where folks saw a fiery ball come crashing from the sky last night. Today, after a thorough search, folks still don't know what exactly that was. A giant flame like the one in this picture has Flagler Beach buzzing. The problem is no one can identify it. In fact, no one knows if this picture is even real. But police say the calls were. Kind of a little uh, controversy there. One said it was too big for a flare and and it could have been a plane. Flagler Beach Police Chief Dan Cody says phone lines started blowing up shortly after 11 p.m. He told the Coast Guard about the reports and a search got underway. They called me and notified that uh, they saw a large flash in the sky, had about 20, 25 people that told one of the officers. We got this picture from a friend of someone on the beach last night. Some witnesses think it was a plane, but according to the FAA, there were none on radar at the time. Others watched from this deck at Finn's restaurant when the object struck the ocean. Pretty much have a 360 degree view of anything that's going on. General Manager Grant Tarpley says people released Chinese lanterns around the same time as the reports. He himself has seen the lanterns used on the 4th of July, but doesn't know if that's what was in the sky last night. No one knows, and for now, it will stay that way. One of the many mysteries. Although this seems like a closed case, the Flagler Beach Police Department says the Coast Guard may give the area one more search before completely suspending efforts. Reporting in Flagler Beach, Erica Bennett, CBS 47. Action News. And the Coast Guard says a lot of the sighting reports were very vague. So if you do call in a report, they're asking you to gather as many details as possible.